the sound and the pretty pictures. <coughs> and we're live with mission three of season three of week 11 of the Point Station Lancer campaign, where this week we are in orbit around the planet of Pilgrim's World, which is a giant chicken farm for big alien chicken called Big Box. Uh, these chicken are very fero ferocious, but uh, also very delicious, and they are the favorite food for the albatross. Uh, here's one. Wonderful. And, uh, yeah, the uh, planet is under attack by chicken pirates seeking to sabotage production in order to weaken the albatross morale. So Interpone Station has been hired as security, and uh, we are taking our job very seriously. And uh, yeah, we're overseeing the uh, chicken production this week from uh, catching the damn things all the way to a delicious bucket full of fried chicken. Uh, for today's mission, we will have to uh, defend the sanitation uh, area where the chicken is being cleaned and uh, make sure that no saboteurs are sneaking in to do some, do some dirty work in there. Uh, on this team today, we have Cage. Cage, tell us about yourself. Well, Cage is a recent arrival at Interpoint, having been uh, rescued from an evil circus ship not too long ago. But uh, he's very dedicated as a bodyguard and has a great interest in protecting people. So an, an, even evil, if... an evil circus ship? What's a good circus ship? Mm. Uh... Well, he certainly hasn't seen one yet. <laughs> and with that in mind, he will, uh, despite having mixed feelings about the uh, particular nature of this food production, he will endeavor to protect the rest of this team to the best of his ability, even if it should uh, cost him his life. Wonderful. Uh, which is pretty hard to do, considering you are sitting in a drake mm. with a leviathan cannon. Uh, well, it doesn't have to make it easy for the opposition. <laughs> That's fair. Alright, and Junkyard. What have you been up to? Well, since he uh, helped liberate the water planet, he was pretty concerned with all the flying mechs, so he decided to go out and get a license to get some roller mines and some bouncing, <laughs> bouncing mines. <laughs> Do you want to tell us about the four systems you have in your mech? And those are the only four systems, by the way. <laughs> I have uh, a flash grenade, I have warp, warp grenades, and hex grenades, and, um, <laughs> and now roller mines. And now roller grenades, yeah. Just four grenade systems. Uh, taking the Iskander very seriously. Great. In junkyard wears a heavy hard suit because he, he gets too close to explosions. True. Uh, everybody is wearing the heavy hard suit except for you, Cavalier. Uh, did you not know there was a dress code today? Or what's up with that? I forgot about the pilot. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> So uh, you were surprised by this mission and uh, stormed out in in a shirt and jeans, and uh, now we'll have to we'll have to pilot the the mech like that, I guess. I hope my mech doesn't get destroyed. Uh, it's less likely. It's not too bad. Uh, you just jockey a uh, exposed mech and blow it up with your bare hands, like <laughs> Junker <true>. does. <laughs> and yeah, Cavalier, tell us about yourself. Uh, Piloting the Tortuga today. <laughs> Arrived recently in the station, so that's kind of an explanation why he forgot to put his heart suit. Mm -hmm. But also he was part of a Union Farfield team, and in outer space, away from the frontier of the Union, he met a strange event in which he was teleported to Interpoint. So that's kind of why the reason he didn't bring the the pilot gear. He was used to be a red shirt from Star Trek, <laughs> kind of. So he's literally wearing the red shirt from... Wonderful. He's from arriving in a red shirt. Uh, 
That's uh, should watch out today. All right, and uh, I think even without pallet gear, the uh, Torchuga will get things done uh, with an Opkel deck sweeper and a Daisy Cutter. Also, the uh, very annoying Horror S01 to cause reactions. Yep. All right, and, and firework. New aboard Interpoint Station. Uh, tell us about yourself. Sure. Firework is... Well, he's a soldier. And in, in terms of being a soldier, he's kind of average. Uh, what makes him a good mech is that he finds being a soldier very boring. And he tries his best to, to have uh, as much fun as he can in this boring He's very individualist, which isn't good for a soldier, but great on a lancer. He got his potential realized when his uh, superiors sent him to work at the, the chicken factory in hopes of shutting him up. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Alright, so you're actually working here, uh, and now defending the factory. Wonderful. And uh, you are piloting the Tortuga with a massive HP bar and uh, literally two systems, not looking external batteries. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I, I switched up. I'm, I, I was convinced to use former build. I'm afraid if you did, that switch did not come through and you'll have to deal with it. <laughs> Just took on the, the yeah. code from your app, sorry. We'll have to bear with it. Uh, for today's mission, we have some installation to protect. Uh, the area where the big box are being cleaned. And uh, to help you on your mission, uh, we have prepared some reserves for you. Which look a little like this. And a cage. Which delicious chicken themed reserve would you like to go for? Oh, Cage understands the need for uh, a good meal, and so we'll opt for the big bucket. A big bucket. How are we acquiring a big bucket full of chicken? Uh, well, despite the fact that he feels a uh, strange affront about this uh, entire farming practice, he will uh, attempt to stay cool and ask for it gently from someone who is here. Mm -hmm. Ideally getting on their better nature. Wonderful. Here's the attempt. 13, we'll do it. Uh, you can get a big bucket full of chicken, which you can deploy as a quick action once per mission in adjacent free space. Uh, and then thing has five charges, which you, can, you or an ally character can take down in order to heal the six HP. Delicious. Very good. <laughs> Dare I say, finger licking good. <laughs> and the junkyard. Which reserve would you like to go for? Well, I was going to get the big bucket because junkyard does love himself some big buck. And other greasy foods, but I think that the grease trap will be a good one. Mm-hmm. So he's going to go ahead and uh, he's going to try to go ahead and get a hold of a big old container of grease. All right. Let's see if we can uh, get a large container of grease to spill on the floor. Absolutely not. Uh, well, nope. Out of grease, it seems. He, is, uh, he's used up too much of his uh, grease in his mech. <laughs> Maybe we used it all to fry the bucket. And Cavalier, which reserve would you like to go for? I'm going to go for 
the back of the invasion option. The uh, pack away invade option. And he will use his rank as a Farfield team member to try to get a hold of of the system. Mm -hmm. uh, get hold, no, uh, take control. Definitely. Let's see if we can uh, take control. Using his rank. And get that invade system. That absolutely works. You can get the pack away invade option, which you can use once per scene. And uh, yeah, until the end of the next turn, they become impaired and take one AP kinetic damage for every space they move. Which hurts pretty bad. And firework, which reserve would you like to go for? Firework, you there? Hmm. Yeah, I'm here. Um, I think... I would... I'd like to try and... Uh, I would like to try and get a... Hand... Hand grenade. One hand grenade. How are we acquiring a hand grenade? Uh, I'd like to uh, to run over to uh, to a uh, transport, uh, sending them to a different set of mechs on a different mission, which is probably more important than ours, and uh, forcefully demand to to uh, to acquire these hand eggs. Mm -hmm. for the chicken mission. Wonderful. Let's see uh, if you are intimidating enough to get yourself some hand grenades here. I'm surprised Junker didn't go for one, by the way. <laughs> uh, I can't. I can't find the one for pilots. Uh, click on your pilot token, and then in the top left you have the trigger button. I didn't. I didn't go for them because it's unaffected. I can't get all the extra charges that I should get. <laughs> That's the reason. <laughs> no, I, I. I need other people to join the way of the grenade. <laughs> Yeah, if I work, you can just click your pilot token, uh, not the mech token, pilot token. In the top left, you have a trigger button, and there you can type in the trigger you want to use, then select the bonus, then select accuracy difficulty, and then roll it out. Um, I clicked it. I don't see a button on the top left. That's unfortunate. Uh, does this one work? Uh, nope. Can you move your tokens? I can move it. Okay. And there's no... On the top of the screen, there's no bar. Yeah, I, I see the... All I see is the Roll20 uh, red and blue. Huh. In that case, just roll with d20. And add some bonus. Uh, just roll for it. Mm -hmm. Try three. We'll do it. You can acquire the hand grenades. Three charges. Uh, you can throw them for five spaces. And they burst up in a blast one. Coating everybody in delicious yolk and blinding them until the end of the next turn. Uh, does your mech token work though? Uh, firework. Like if you click on that, you get the top bar. Do you just not have any buttons? I think I just need a button. Hmm. 
uh, not on the token. So if you click on the token, there should be in the top left side, there should be a bunch of buttons. Uh, I see uh, a, a gear wheel and the uh, radiation symbol. No, I mean no, no, no. Top on the left, top of the screen. Off the screen. If you look in uh, mission three, have the end turn the button, Discord. end turn button, and the frame features button, and the basics button. Nope, I do not see a trigger. It just goes from end turn to frame features. Oh, that's only a mech token. Uh, if you click on the pilot token, you get the uh, trigger button. But if you have oh, the buttons, there it is. If you have the buttons, that's Sorry. all right. No worries. Thank you. It. Found it. Uh, in that case, we can get into the factory, and uh, let's hope there are no saboteurs in there. Before we start, I roll my uh, oh, true, prototype yeah, weapon charges. For roll to type weapon charges. And uh, Cage, you need a best friend, actually. Yes, I do. And. Uh... This was discussed earlier that uh, recognizing fireworks uh, reckless and individualistic nature, Cage will <laughs> simply say, stay close to me and you will not die. Wonderful. Okay, I'll try. Bestest of friends. So, this first scene is a holdout. Uh, enemies will be coming in from all sides, and it is your task to hold out in the deployment zone in the middle for six rounds. If at the end of the sixth round there is more uh, than, f sorry, there's four or more NPCs in the control zone, uh, the scene is considered a loss. And uh, we'll be starting out with an amount of NPCs and reinforcements will be coming in each turn. Terrain-wise, we have uh, some water where the uh, chicken is being uh, washed in. Uh, this is difficult terrain unless you have EVA module or jump jets or something like that. Uh, then we have soft cover in the form of these steam clouds and the rest is hard cover and you can find a height legend in the top right of the map which will tell you which terrain outline is which height. Uh, green is half sized Pink is uh, one sized, dark blue is two size, orange is three size, and light blue is four size. Uh, coming in from all sides are the dreaded chicken pirates. Uh, containing a witch, berserker, engineer, sentinel, cedar, and a cataphract. So definitely watch out for those. Uh, more are on the way to disrupt the uh, chicken process and uh, best of luck. Any questions about the scene? All right. In that case, I don't have any. No question. We can get right into it. Let me just wrangle my OBS. And who would like to take the first turn here? Uh, may I? I I would like to if you don't. Uh, don't mind. Uh, should I try and take something off the board? No, no, no. Um, I'll set it up for you guys. All right. Very well. All right. Um, I'm gonna use a quick action to activate a death cloud. Mm -hmm. Good old death cloud. Now I'm gonna check out a mine. Check uh, an explosive mine. Mm -hmm. and I can go over here. Yep. And then I'm gonna deploy two mines with my friend.
on which I need a I'll go with a blank mine and a a bouncing mine. Mm -hmm. Bouncing man will not trigger, by the way, if there is no flying characters. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just go with the uh, go with the flash mine then. my turn. You got it. Uh, the Berserker. Actually, um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna overcharge. Yep. That is your first overcharge. Take one point of heat. And I'm gonna I'm gonna deploy another mine. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a hex mine over here. Uh, nope. The Assault Launcher is a once per round ability. Oh, that's right. Is the uh, other one once per round or is it? Absolutely is. Yep, okay. So then instead I'm gonna be covering fire on the Cedar. Mm -hmm. That works out. With my gravity gun. Okay, covering fire with Cedar. Uh, just throw it in chat real quick. Number nine, but otherwise, talents. I can just shoot this cedar with my prototype weapon. Okay, that also works. Uh, that is going to be uh, neutral. Well, uh, it'll be uh, smart and accurate. Mm -hmm. Does it um, automatically do it when I do the smart accurate, or do I have to uh, add the accuracy? You got to add the accuracy. That's a hit. And that deals three points of damage to the cedar. And now my turn's actually over. You got it. Uh, the Berserker is going to move five spaces to here. Uh, we are then going to... Hmm. When does the Death Cloud happen? When does the Sinus carrier make any movement other than a certain move they take? Nobody knows. Is that, uh, okay, so I'm guessing immediately. Uh, it's going to be two points of damage. 
which will trigger the aggression of the Berserker, swinging at nothing. Uh, but then we are going to avalanche charge for five spaces into the space. Uh, we are Does immune. he have a... Uh, oh, does he have, like, uh, resistance? Uh, against what? Damage? Yeah. The explosive damage. Mm -hmm. Has one point of armor, and uh, Berserkers have uh, Stampede Defense, which gives them resistance to all damage unless they are impaired, stunt immobilized, shredded, slowed, prone, or exposed. Uh, additionally, that you cannot uh, Vanguard 3 Overwatch here because the Stampede, uh, the Avalanche Charge is immune to reactions. Uh, we then have to attack a random adjacent character. Junkyard, you are my hit. So we're going for you. Yep. Slicing into your mech at neutral. Missing entirely. Skirmishing. And that's a hit. Critical. Shredded until the end of your next turn and you take 9 points of damage. And that is a turn oh, for the terrible. Berserker. May I go? Go right ahead. Guys. Should I try and so... catch up the Berserker? Uh... No, you, I mean, the Berker Zerker is already gone, so if Cage wants to set up the defense for, like, the Cataphractor or somebody coming in, that makes sense. Well, that, that uh, asked, and I'd say he can go ahead and act now. Alright, go for it. Go ahead, Vet. And... to shoot him with my Dex Reaper first. Mm -hmm. Wait. Sorry, just getting used to it. That is a hit. For 6 damage is reduced to 5, is reduced to 3. Plus Opcal is another point of the actually 7 damage, reduced to 6, no, still 3. Due to his skill I can't use reactions, right? Uh, you can use reactions now. It's just uh, Evan Charge. Doing the Evan Charge move, you can't react. So I'm going to attack, attack him. Mm -hmm. To use the to invade him. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's invade. Sorry. With plus one accuracy due to the battler system. Nice. Yep. That is a hit, dealing two points of heat. And I'm going to use the puppet system. Mm -hmm. And where are we moving this guy? How much movement does he have? Uh, five. Just five? So I'm going to move him right to the blink mine. Mm -hmm. and... That will set off the blink mine. And Junkyard and Vet, both of you get to overwatch the guy. It is an engineering save. Awesome! Zero, nice. They become jammed and teleported to a free valid space within range five. So I'm guessing that's triggering over here. So where do you want to go, Junkyard? So there? Yeah, uh, let's put him in the water. You got it. Dunk him in the tank. Uh, that is one, two, three spaces, and then we have to move another two spaces. And that's that. And both of you get to Overwatch. And now I have plus one accuracy in this mm -hmm. Dex Sweeper. Let's hit with Dex Sweeper. I'll let you do all your damage and stuff first. That is another three points of damage. Pistol coming in for one point of damage. Stop cannon is and another one point of damage. Okay. 
And I'm going to Overwatch and activate the, the forgot the name of the system. Let me remember the Hyper Dance Arm. Mm -hmm. Nice. First overcharge, take one heat, and then let's see that Hyper Dance Armor. And now I have resistance to everything that's far away. Mm -hmm. Resistance to all damage, heat, and burn from attacks that originate beyond French 3. Come slowed and deal half damage to stuff that's far away. Alright. The. Hmm. Cataphract, I guess. Is going to move and boost to here, taking three points of damage. And we are going to throw a spear at you, Junkyard. Is a ranged rap cannon at one accuracy. It's a miss. Oh, two accuracy. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, does a ten hit. <laughs> yeah. Unlucky, that is. Ten is the number right here. <laughs> four damage. And then the second spear, coming in for two accuracy, is going to be another four damage. Is it only doing four damage? Uh, you, oh, sorry, you're shredded. Uh, ten shredded. damage. Ten damage four. Yep. Go to eleven and take a structure here. Forget that Berserker Chain X is shredded until the end for your next turn, while the player Chain X just shredded for the turn. <laughs> A3, we are losing a system, oh no! We're losing, we're running off grenades! Mmm, yeah, I don't like that. I guess we'll lose the... Um... I don't. I don't want to do that. Um, <laughs> it's too bad. <laughs> I'll lose the um, the roller charges. I guess you got it. No more roller charges. That is the cataphract's turn. Leaves cage and firework. If I may. All right. All right. Very quick setup first. Fortress Protocol. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put down the two wings, basically. So I think that's right. Yep. Just that and like that. And uh, put down also the big bucket. Mm -hmm. just, I'll just. Uh, Drop it behind me over there. Yep. Just fetching it. And, and second quick action, spin up Leviathan Cannon, and mm -hmm. we're done. Alright. That sure is a setup. Um, hmm. The Sentinel is going to Moon Boost. Taking three damage. And we are going to risk a shot at you, Firework. Going to come in at two difficulty here. That's a miss. And that is the Sentinel's turn. And Firework, all you. Alright, uh. Sorry, I'm new to this. Where should I shoot? Well, uh... The Sentinel is a good one. 
good argument for the Sentinel. There's a good argument to shoot the Berserker since he's almost down and you'll be able to take advantage of his weakness, I think. Yeah, I think either one of those is good. Berserker has soft cover currently, but not a huge issue if you have crack shot. Uh, yeah, I will try and shoot at the Berserker. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jammed does not turn off the resistance, by the way. I think it's the only thing that doesn't. Whoops. <laughs> oh. Okay. Should yeah. I wait? Should I wait on that then? Uh, might as well do Sentinel or Cataphract in that case. I'll try the the sen. Yeah, I'd do the send on because okay, yeah, for the hard cover. Mm -hmm. Not against the smart gun, but yeah, not you. Oh, he's got a smart gun. Okay. Uh, actually, no, I don't. Oh wait, I do. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I'll 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 take a shot at the catapult. Also, if you want to lock on first, you'll get the benefit of spotter from Cage. Ooh. Oh, I can use, uh... Oh. Spotter buddies. Oh no, I was just oh. clicking yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, Firework, what are we doing? Yeah, we'll fire at the cataphract. Mm -hmm. One smart gun at the one of skirmish and barrage. I will. Gurm. You got it. There is one skirmish with a smart gun. One accuracy in build. Uh, one accuracy in. Oh. Uh, yeah, one accuracy in build. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a one accuracy shot um, against Cataphract because the smart gun is also smart and seeking, ignoring the cover entirely. That's it. Dealing four points of damage. Oh, I forgot to. I, I forgot you're supposed to declare it before your turn. Uh. Mm. May I expose? Oh, sure. You can get exposed. So that is. Uh, not Radiance, Overclock. Uh, so you range attacks deal plus three damage. Yep. Then I'll core bonus. Mm-hmm. Purple to that, and that'll be it. the Oracle LMG. Uh, it's going to be a difficulty one because one accuracy in build. Mm. Oh, uh, I'll aim the Oracle at the... actually. Instead of the Cataphract. The Oracle isn't smart. That's true. That's a hit on the Berserker. Dealing one point of damage. Uh, that should also be plus three. Oh, I true. Think. Yep, plus three. Uh, so that is five, four, two points of damage.
And then I'll use... Oh, yeah, I... May, may I barrage? Uh, sure, if you want to go for a barrage, let's do it. Another oracle? So... No, I'd add another smart gun at the cap. You got it. That is a hit, dealing another 7, and that is the Cataphract destroyed. Yay. I'll overcharge. Mm -hmm. First overcharge. Again, shoot my smart gun. Mm -hmm. The sentinel. Absolutely. Hit dealing six damage to Sentinel. And then I'll uh crack shot. Now crack shot three. Should I mobilize it or knock it? So you didn't actually use the crack shot to steady your aim, so you can't you can't declare this now. Oh. That's alright, makes no difference. That's my turn then. Mm -hmm. uh, if you like, you can go for Crackshot, because Crackshot 1 uh, oh, makes okay. no difference, you didn't move anyway. So just go for a Crackshot here if you like. In that case. Actually, Headshot seems bad. I, d I don't know. I would say headshot or body shot. Body uh, shot is nice. Okay, let's body shot. Mm -hmm. That is a uh, hold safe, safe target 14 and not prone. We're failing and prone. Alright, and then just click right, me that's... the end turn button, and that's that. The engineer is going to move and boost to here, take and three. We are deploying a sentry. And at the end of turn, the sentry will spring to life, targeting the nearest hostile character, which is you, Firework. There's a turret attack at neutral. The bucket is not a character. Shut up. <laughs> it's five damage. Uh, 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 the bucket. The bucket is not closer than him, anyways. Okay, we will intercede. <laughs> yep, that is five damage for you then. Reduce to two. Mm -hmm. Wait, your DST uh... They take damage from a source within your line of sight. Uh, oh, it's gonna be ten actually. I guess. Aren't I in hard cover? Uh, no, the barrels no, are not relative not. to not relative to this shot, and they take damage within this. So you take the damage. Oh, so it will actually count me as being exposed for purposes of interest. Yes. I think so, because the the damage is calculated first, right? They then take the damage, uh, so it's going to be exposed armor nine. And but I think your armor applies again, so it's going to be down to seven. Uh, oh no, you have three armor. It's gonna be down to six. All right, I can I can live with that math, I suppose. It's gonna be 
Uh, doubled from exposed, one armor from the Tokugawa. Firework then takes that damage, which you can take, which is then further reduced by your armor. Right. Okay. I think. Nobody knows. <laughs> we'll we'll ask interesting questions in pilot net after this. Yeah. <laughs> I I thought the guardian thing uh, that cover uh, gave cover that uh, regardless of side. Oops. Oh no. Um, the witch is gonna move up. The witch is going to uh, tear down on you, Cage. Okay. It's a hit for two heat, which is next turn. It gets you get four heat. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to also. Hmm. Hmm. How much the Guardian trade worth it? Okay, that's not great then. Um, we'll throw predatory logic at you, VAT. Actually, no, you have crazy A defense, right? Ah, uh, maybe we'll get lucky. Yep. Uh, would you please deploy your daisy cutter for me? And attack um, firework with that. The daisy cutter. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so you get to here's the goodness. You get to put the AOE in a way uh, as you wish, as long as it touches firework. So uh, here's your kill the sentinel too. <laughs> two to I don't have to cage. I uh, guess not. Hit Cage as well. It's true. Cage is definitely uh, in the in the hit, uh, but you can also hit the Sentinel if you like. <laughs> oh yes, I'm going to hit the Sentinel, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, does it count as a reaction? Uh, it does actually. Yeah, sure does. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, friends. I'm going to have accuracy in well, this shot. Well, well, actually, yeah, can you? Yeah, you can. This one works. It's actually not so... the worst thing in the world for Cajun Firework currently, because let me just give you a frame traits for a second here. Uh, let's see. That is Blast Plating, gives nice. me resistance to Ooh. cones, and thanks to Fortress Protocol, uh, everyone who's who's got cover from me also has Blast Plating. So. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a one difficulty shot against Cage, a one difficulty shot against Firework, and a two accuracy shot against the Sentinel. Against Firework. Mm. Miss. Yes. I need it. Now, let's see. Now against Cage. Mm -hmm. Sure. One difficulty. It's a hit. That deals half damage down to uh, eight, down to five, I guess. Uh, other way around. Other, other way around. You're absolutely then. right. Uh, uh, six. Six total. Okay. And now let's see. Against the Sentinel. Yep. Two actors against Sentinel. Two accuracy. Mm -hmm. One from your action, it's one from your shot, and it's prone. Oh, yes. Forgot about the prone. That is a critical hit. It takes 17 damage uh, unless uh, it takes half of that. Uh, 17 cut down to 9. Cut down to 8. <laughs> And that is the witch's turn. Uh, then we have a cedar left. The cedar is gonna march into hardcover. Take a three. 
And we're going to deploy a mine, I guess. It's not a real mine. <laughs> That's true. Fake mine. One dirty cedar mine. With the lay mines feature. Uh, that is going to be round one. Going into round two, we are getting new friends. We are getting another sentinel coming in from the bottom right. Who would like to take the first turn? I would if you guys don't mind. You can go. Please go. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do is shoot um I'll see. I'm going to throw a frag grenade mm -hmm. at the sentinel. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, a boo. <laughs> taken three, taken two. Just enough. I'm going to move up here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to scare the grab. I played. I go up here. Say pull the witch close if you can. Yeah, they'll come to the middle of that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let's put the witch first. It's a failure, take six. And then three AP. Yep, and the berserker. Uh, succeeds. Yeah, um, I'll do my second overturn. And then I'm going to use the gravity gun again. Mm -hmm. Just bring him into the mine. It's a failure on the Berserker, take and one. And the Witch fails as well, takes two. And then one Hexmine. 
Dealing 7, that kills the witch. And the Berserker. That's a failure, uh, it kills him as well. I'm, I'm done. Alright. The Sentinel is going to crawl up to here. It's going to lock onto you, Firework. It's not going to shoot you. It's a combat shotgun at one accuracy. That's it. Dealing 16 points of damage. Reduced to 15 after armor. Ending turn for this guy. And who would like to go next? May I go? Okay. Or do you guys have any plan? Well, the uh, only thing is, Firework should get an opportunity to clear expose, or Cage should oh. go, just so that he might not uh -huh. get structured. Was that unless, a range attack? Unless, Vat, you want to. Uh, it was indeed provide. a range attack, yep. Unless, Vat, you uh, want to provide cover for Firework. I'll use a uh, return fire to mm -hmm. shoot back with my Oracle. Definitely. So, I was thinking about killing the Cedar. That is a miss. Well, Firework's gonna need protection from this engineer, so either I go and try and kill it, or if you go, then please uh, give Firework cover from its attack. Or let Firework go and clear his own expose. Oh, I think it's better to let Firework go to clear expose. Yes. Or it goes, it's better. Because at the end of his turn, as long as he doesn't overclock again, the expose will go away. So it doesn't have to like stabilize. He could use a quick action to use the bucket and then another quick action to do something like shoot. Okay. Go ahead, Firework. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so uh, a quick action for the bucket. Mm -hmm. I need to be adjacent to the bucket to use the bucket. Yeah, so just step yeah, over here. Gotta, if you're gonna do that, shoot the sentinel first. <laughs> That's true. Sentinel will overwatch you if you step away. Sorry, still uh, exposed yeah, for I'll... this turn, but you're not immobilized anymore. Yeah, just don't do... Um... Don't stabilize. Well, if I skirmish, it'll be with the... Oh, wait, it doesn't have... Alright. Skirmish with my... Smart weapon? Mm-hmm. It's gonna be two accuracy, one in build, and one from prone. Because that was a skirmish, I think you get an oracle shot as well. Mm -hmm. Well, I was going to, after using the bucket, I was going, I was probably going to overcharge into the danger zone okay. and start inflicting burn. Mm -hmm. Also well, you still get the, you still get the oracle. Okay. So you have to use the um, yeah. oracle right away, or? 
uh, whenever you attack with a weapon mod's brown. So if you want to overcharge, you shoot again, that's fine. Uh, Alright, roll me a d6 as you eat the delicious spicy chicken. Nice, 6 HP restored. As a D3 for overcharge? Oh, if you want to overcharge, uh, go yeah. to basics, please, and click the overcharge button. Perfect. Three heat. Go to four, and you get a quick action as a free action. Right. Need to go up to oh, all of health, too. I'll skirmish with my smart gun on the. On which one are you cut out? One? Engineer the cedar. Uh, engineer. You got it. It's a one accuracy shot. Plus one for. Uh. Oh wait, no. That's what the that's what the sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, the oracle gets it. Uh, I'll. I think I'll. Yeah, I'll steady my aim on this shot. Uh, steady aim yeah, is a good. protocol, so you have to do it at the start of your turn. I'm afraid. Yeah, you wouldn't have been able to heal yourself if you did that. All right. So that's the way the tactic works. You have to sort of commit to staying no. immobile for the turn in order to get the benefits of crack shot. I don't think it should be too bad, though. No, it's just an engineer. Yep. Uh, you say that, but. Alright, it's a smart gun. Smart gun smart is smart! <laughs> Probably still doable, though. One accuracy is one accuracy. Well, it's not allowing me to click on the token. Is that because. Uh, should be able to. And put you to front. You have the, the um, one of the like this the ruler selected. Yeah, might have the ruler selected. Yep, yeah, like the arrow up in the top left. That's it. Uh, D link seven. And you can fire the Oracle, uh, which is coming in at neutral. Uh, hard coverage or difficulty versus one accuracy in build versus gunslinger one accuracy. That's crit. Use another six. And, uh... I probably prone. Probably uh, So you did not steady your aim with crack shot one this turn, so you cannot oh, declare crack Sorry. shot three. Hmm? So good. And I think that's your turn, unless you want to move more. I think you want to stay next to Cage. Yeah. I'd be inclined to agree. Back here? No, 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 no. Stay where you are. Yeah. Just because that way you now... You you're now have cover from the turret. <laughs> and you're further away from the Sentinel. Friend-shaped Drake. Mm-hmm. 
Alright, if you're done, just click the enter button. And then the engineer will go. And she's gonna put out another turret. That is all they teach them in engineer school. And then we're gonna throw you in invade cage. That's it for two heat and a turret. Mm -hmm. And then okay, two turrets, both of you, uh, both of them at you cage. Turret check mm -hmm. the first at difficulty two, hard cover. It's a hit for five, reduced to two. Turret shot the second. That's a hit for two. And that is the engineer's turn. Cajun bat left. Uh, you can go. Okay. Then. Cage is going to start with an. Overcharge. Mm -hmm. First one. Mm -hmm. Going to. Uh, oh. He's going to use it to uh, munch on said chicken <laughs> himself. Yep. D6, four, 4 HP. Five and uh, let's just see if we can't get rid of that engineer. Mm -hmm. He gets the Leviathan. <laughs> uh, he's dead. <laughs> roll it. <laughs> I mean, roll it, yeah, but <laughs> reliable five does it. <laughs> I'm I'm just very curious to see how three difficulty treats them. Uh, huh. That's a hit stall. Huzzah. Well, uh Nice. It's up to seven heat. And uh oh we'll see if that uh if that comes back to bite them momentarily. That is Cage's turn. Uh the sentinel's gonna go, move and boost into the cloud. Taken three. And throw an invade you cage. It is exactly ten spaces. That's it, and that's great. Alright, rolls back over. That drops to three. And we get to Take another run at the wheel. <laughs> oh, that is exposed. So it is. And that is the Sentinel Storm, leaving you that. So, I'm going to lock on to the Cedar. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to invade him to use the puppet system. Mm -hmm. Plus one. Definitely. That's it. Take in four heat. And remove an. And puppet system. Mm -hmm. Where are we going? Speed four. So. He's going towards me. I'm going to move him to me. Nope. In my direction. Uh, I'm afraid the puppet system is in voluntary movement, therefore needs to be in a straight line. Uh, additionally, oh. you cannot drag the cedar through this wall, it will just bonk and stop. So okay. The solution, the solution is you can walk up to him. Awkwardly. Such that, such that you can negate the cover and just when he starts moving. That is true. So uh, if I'm you want to, you can... Him. Yep, that also works. I'm you. going to put him. So, that what I'm saying is walk here, like, 
just walk up to here so that you can take that reaction shot. It's true. It's actually a great idea. So if you like, you can uh, move first to there and then uh, take the shot. Oh yes, I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. I can Good move. Luck. There might two be a or three. <laughs> <laughs> It's more likely than you think. Two or three hexes. <laughs> Because I have five speeds, so this gets you two or three hexes. Uh, we want to get next to the. Cover, slow doesn't so slow doesn't cut your speed in half. Uh, slow just means you can't boost. Yeah, you can't boost. Oh yes, I thought it cut in half. So I'm going to move here mm -hmm. because I think it's safe from mines. Yep. <laughs> And then you can move the guy. And then you get Overwatch. With neutral due to the cover or? Uh, you ignore cover because Vanguard 2. Oh yes, I forgot about Vanguard 2. It's a one accuracy shot. So one accuracy. Mm -hmm. That's it. And that deals six damage. And OP call. Mm -hmm. Another one damage. So close. Oh. <laughs> That's my turn. I do have a quick left, actually. Oh no, I used lock on. I used oh, you lost lock on. Sorry, yep, you're right. Uh, in that case, we are going to move to here. We are going to put out a mine. And then we are shooting the Graf Grenade Launcher on this base. Good luck figuring out the minus. <laughs> it is a one target AV attack roll at neutral against UVAT. Missing entirely. Ending turn for this nerd. And that is a round. Going to round three, we're getting more friends. From the top side, we're getting a cataphract. From the bottom side, we're getting a berserker. Who would like to take the first turn? Uh, Cage, do you want to stabilize or something? To get rid of the exposed. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go for it if that's all right with folks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all other things uh, being what they will, Cage will simply take his turn to stabilize and end turn. Got it. Clear heat, clear exposed, clear impaired. Easy. Mm -hmm. Uh. That is that. All right. Uh, in that case, the cedar will go quick. Cedar, <laughs> lay a mine. <laughs> Shoot in the <this> space. <laughs> and go before you die. Let's go. Uh, come on, big money. That's it. So He's you take. Oh. You take one point of damage. You are then knocked to here. Uh, which is unfortunate for you. <laughs> because you triggered two mines simultaneously. <laughs> which will blow up in your face for 12 explosive damage each. <laughs> and Junkyard, I need one from you. <laughs> and oh, I, I have two. normal edge, it's safe. I need uh, two from you, Vat, and one from you, Junkyard. Uh, sorry, uh, the other way around. Uh, one for you, Junker, and two for me with that, VAT. Uh, so you take one damage from the Grav Grenade Launcher VAT, and then agility save twice, please. Let's go! Junkyard, you take well. 11 damage. Uh, Cavalier, you take uh, 
12 damage as well, reduced to 10 by your armor. And then give me another agility save. A 19 will do it, you only take 6 damage, reduced to 4 damage from this. I salute Hero Cedar. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, Cavalier, you are losing a system, and Junkyard, so are you. No! <laughs> Running out of grenades. I forgot about custom paint job. Oh, I always yeah, forget no, about it. Just roll it. Just roll the systems real quick. Go to systems, roll custom paint job. No big deal. No. Right. In that case, what are we losing? Um, I'm losing flash grenades. Mm -hmm. Flash charges. Flash grenades are gone, and VAT. What are we losing? I'm losing Hive Drone. The Hive Drone is gone. That is the Cedar's turn. And that's that. Who would like to go next? No one else wants to. I, I mean, if you can kill the cataphract, go for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. We've learned. As a protocol, I will steady my aim. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So you become immobilized. And Are you going to overclock too? Mercy. Uh, feel like I should expose here. Mm -hmm. So, as a protocol, I will expose. Sure can. Then I will over. Mm -hmm. It's your third overcharge. Five heat. And you get a quick as a free. Yep. Use my. I'll use my full two barrage. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do with your overwatch quick, uh, overcharge quick? Oh, with my overcharge quick, I will... Skirmish? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Wait, let me check the range. Actually, if you really want to crit fish, you could... Well, I mean, taking this, yeah, this shot again is... Smart gun can't crit, is the I problem. Actually, I... <laughs> Start uh, using yeah. Smart gun crits for four. I thought nuclear cavalier two was a factor. Oh yeah, not nuclear cavalier two. Yeah, I will use Hunter's Law. Mm -hmm. That is Hunter Lock. Combat. Then I will barrage mm -hmm. to first. First on the cataphract? Yep, the cataphract. That is a one accuracy shot. Uh, one Sorry, two, base two, and two, two one accuracy. Th yep. Crack shot and inbuilt. That is a critical hit. D4 
dealing 7 damage plus 2 heat plus uh, go to talents and click new calf 2 for me please. That is another 3, so we're taking a 6 burn. And uh, 10 damage overall. Sorry, 13 damage. Wait. The 6 bonus damage, 10, that is 13 damage overall. There we go. We're at 9 burn. Nice. And I'll open. Crack shot 3. Mm hmm. Wait. Uh, yeah. I'll have it. Uh, they're ranged, right? So. Cataphracts, melee. Ish. <laughs> yeah, mostly, yeah. Oh. It's gonna try to r fly over the top of you. Oh, immobilized? Yep, that works, definitely. Yeah. Yep. Go to talents and click that for me. Thank you. That is a leg shot and a hold save. Oh, sorry. Uh, leg shot. Yep. That's a save, though. And I will fire. The Oracle or the other one? Uh. Probably or mm -hmm. uh, the Might oracle is going to be at one accuracy, one accuracy in build, one accuracy crack shot, and soft cover from piece of terrain, one accuracy shot. Oh, uh, it's arcing. Mm -hmm. uh, arcing does only ignore line of sight; it does not ignore cover. So it's still gonna have to account for the thing that's in the way. Correct. Oh, okay, then then maybe maybe this mark. You still have one accuracy. Well, one accuracy should be fine. I mean, you're okay. Plus Un you'll unless <laughs> probably famous last words. Ooh. Nah, that's a crit, and that is a kill. And a smart gun left. Wait, should I just take try and take care of the cedar? Um, or someone else got it? I think that'll or junkyard will be able to get yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, it's already but, gone, so I would go for the sentinel or the berserker. Sentinel probably because berserker. <laughs> berserker is resist to everything. Resistance yeah. to everything. You want to shoot at the sentinel? It's gonna be a uh, actually no. I'll make it mm -hmm. accuracy one. Okay. And on a crit, you deal another D6 bonus damage. Nice. Yep. Crack shot two. Easy. That is a crit. Dealing oh. uh, four damage. Plus three burn. Plus D6 burn. And go to talents and click crack shot two. Another five, sweet. Burn, and I think that. I believe you have one shot left. Nope, you that get is everything. He used the overcharge for the uh, hunter lock. Hunter ah, lock. for hunter lock. Yeah. Well, Sentinel might burn it up. That's good. True. Uh, the berserker will go, I guess. Yeah. Moving five. Average charging. Five. Taken uh, a damage. That 
is going to be a chain axe at neutral against you, Cage. It's a crit for the whole nine. Ah, well. Followed up by a skirmish for the whole nine. <laughs> And you're shredded until the end of your next turn. Oof. Ending turn for the E-Preserver. Right. Got that. That's three. And, and one structure damage. Let's see. Let's see what it do. One system destroy. System. Uh, we'll go with Cable Winch. Alright. That is the Cable Winch gone and the Berserker done. Junkard and Vat left. Quick question, does the Cedar... Oh, do you want to go first, Junkard? I don't, I don't mind. You do. So, may I go? Yeah, go for, go for it. So I'm going to overcharge. Mm -hmm. That is your second one. Oh, sorry. Second overcharge. Two heat. Why is my heat zero? I think I forgot I am at three heat because it's my mm -hmm. second overcharge. You got it. Then with my action, I'm going to shoot. At neutral. That's hit, and that's a kill. Not choosing OP cow. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's, it's very fair. Then I'm going to move right here, next mm -hmm. to the Berserker, as I have the 5 movement. <laughs> then I'm going to shoot him again with the Dex Sweeper. Neutral. It's a hit. Delay. Now I'm going to use Opcall. Yep. It's here. 12 is 11 is 6 damage. Then I'm going to invade him with the... At 1 accuracy. Mm -hmm. With puppet systems. That's it. And we're walking away. Yep. And I close one accuracy deck sweeper. Sweeper. Close one accuracy. It's a miss. Oh. And Cage, you also get an overwatch here with the uh, concussion missiles. Do. All right. Let's see. Let's see if I can conk him. It is going to be at one difficulty though, because engagement. Unless you have oh. command arms too, I think, but you don't. I do not. So one d six. It's still down. a crit. Nice. That deals one point of damage. Oh, actually, on hit, hold safe or impaired. By the way. Uh, so we are impaired, this deals full damage because it just lost resistance, so we're going to this. Yep. Mm -hmm. And knock back two, technically? Uh, if you wanna. In that case, we're going to yeah. here. It's up to you. Yep. That works. Mm -hmm. Knockback is optional, so you, it's really up to you if you wanna do it or not. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go with that. Okay. All right, and I think that is your turn, Vat. Yep. Let's in turn. The Sentinel is going to move to here. It's going to invade you, Firework. Haha. -ha. That's it for two heat. So you go to one point of heat, you take one reactor stress, and then go to basics, please, and click me the overheating button. Meanwhile, the Sentinel is going to shoot at you, Vat. 
Aha, eight. Down to six. You become exposed firework. At the end of the Sentinel's turn, we are making an engineering check against uh, being on fire for eight points. <laughs> hey, Sentinels! <laughs> Should, sh shall we have a shall we have a big laugh at uh, Sentinel profiles? By the way, <laughs> yep, three two two two. <laughs> it's completely ridiculous. They are here to survive. <laughs> and Fortunately, Junkyard is here to do AOEs. <laughs> yeah. And Junkyard, all you. All right. Let's move three. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, I can move four. We're gonna. Uh... We're gonna gravity gun. Mm -hmm. On that spot. Um. No, this. Um, right here. Yeah. All right, whole saves galore. Is four damage on a failed hold save. Uh, Berserk has one difficulty because impaired. Doesn't save, takes three damage. Doink. And the Sentinel. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Sentinels. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Just Sentinel it. Dang. <laughs> Wait, wait, whose turn is it after this? Uh, NPC turn. Be the NPC on the next round. I, I have a Mordor. Is that make you... Oh, then I guess they just go and be... Alright, Junk, you have one quick left. Yes, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna overcharge. Mm -hmm. That is your third one. Six, three going to six. I'm gonna have gravity gun again. <laughs> oh, reliable. Same spot. No, I want it um, up here now. I need, hold safe. I want the Sentinel. Berserker to go back next to the Sentinel. And hold safe Berserker. Uh, none of them take damage, one armor. That's fine. I want to talk to each other so I can yeah, throw yeah, a frag grenade. Mm. Launching a frag grenade at both of them. Uh, oh yeah, my god. Ah. No damage either. Oh. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> oh well, that my turn. Mm -hmm. Going into round four out of six, uh, we are getting some new friends. We are getting a witch up top and an engineer on the bottom. We ended on a player turn, so NPCs will take the first turn here. And I think we should start with the Berserker. Because the Berserker barely has enough HP to do an avalanche charge. <laughs> Let's see if that recharges. Nope, sure doesn't. Uh, in that case, 
we will just move to here. Yes. Uh, we'll lock onto you, Vat. And uh, JX. Coming in neutral because I'm paired. Lock on, that's a hit. Dealing 9 damage, reduced to 7. And that is a structure. Ending turn for the Berserker. Damage. We're losing a weapon mount. Goodbye, Daisy Cutter. <laughs> yeah. The witch just showed up. Goodbye, Daisy Cutter. <laughs> Get this thing away from me! <laughs> Don't kill my friend again. <laughs> <laughs> that is the Berserker's turn, you got it. <laughs> we want to go. I can't deal with this Berser Berserker. And Avenge my... Oh, it'd be better to get rid of the Sentinel. Or if I daisy could, maybe. Or if Firework wants to try to kill the witch before it goes. Yeah, I was about to say, fuck witch. All my homies hate me. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't even played. Like this is this is the first time I've ever encountered a witch in game, but I've already absorbed the hate through us. <laughs> Witches are pretty mean. Yeah, go ahead and take. Uh, go ahead and try it that witch. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Do do I go for the do I go for the riskiest open treasure? <laughs> and you are piling at Tokugawa. Uh yeah. You're exposed. Are you are you immobilizing yourself? Yeah yeah okay mm -hmm. protocol uh, steady aim. Yep. Protocol. And now I asked, do I go for the riskiest? Open Seems valid to me. Honestly, yeah, problem. Yeah, yep. you're, you're a new kid. Go for fourth it. Fourth right? overcharge. Uh, unless you roll a ten, go to basics overcharge. Unless you roll a ten, that's gonna be uh, fine. It's guaranteed. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Trophy time. All right. I'll use my quick to. Mm -hmm. Have our hunters box. Mm -hmm. It's three bonus damage on a hit. Start skirmishing with smart guy. Oh no, barrage with smart. Barrage with smart. Barrage. Got it. Yep. It's going to be a two accuracy shot on the witch. But witches have e-defense. <laughs> That's a miss. Do it again. Another one. It's a miss. Uh, three and a four. Oracle LMG. Mm -hmm. Oracle hey. coming in at one difficulty, uh, or one accuracy, sorry. One inbuilt, a uh, crack shot, and soft cover for shooting over hard cover. One accuracy shot. Which might do it. Still, like, massive amounts of damage. Oh, 
Of a hit, nice critical hit even. Regular damage. Taken, uh, five damage and three. Sorry, no, not uh, so. That is uh, eight damage. Another three uh, and six of that is burn. <laughs> Jesus. And what's new Cav say? Uh, nothing, because new Cav triggers on the first attack we make. Hit or not? Ah. New Cav is forfeit. New Cav triggers only the first attack you make after the danger zone. So that was on the first smart gun oh, that okay. missed. That is how it be. Yeah, I. Feel bad. Uh, wait, I should probably. Well, I'm gonna get hacked. Yeah, you're losing that reactor stress. <laughs> There's no way around it. <laughs> and uh, you can move, I think that is your turn. Okay, click me the and turn button and then the witch will go quickly. I'm uh, going for a full tech. We are going for a... Tear down against you, firework at one accuracy. It's a hit, dealing to heat. And then we're going to predatory logic against the berserker. <laughs> That's a one night can at me! <laughs> I have like uh -huh. six E defense! <laughs> <laughs> it's like nine free damage right there. <laughs> All right. This witch needs to go back to the academy. <laughs> Such a dirty move too to start predatory logicking NPCs because they just have better guns than players. I know sure. that's. Uh, that's reactor meltdown. Uh, you don't need to go uh, overheating. Yeah, I, I... Meanwhile, the witch... Button. Uh, isn't dead. No ding-dong. Dang. There you go. And, uh, second of stress. Oh, god. Oh. Yeah, I think it's just a little bit of lag. You become exposed again. Which is fine. Uh... Note that the witch uh, is half-sized and uh, is now pretty much out of line of sight for you guys. Smart gun didn't care, but I mean, the grav gun also pretty much doesn't care. <laughs> to be fair, True. Well, that is the witch's turn. Cage, go? Cage, go? Go? Uh, Cage will go, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Cage is going to start with an overcharge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is a scene too, you know. Uh, Steve, know. We're, we're going hard on the heat today. The, uh, the need is there, I think. One heat, nice. Alright, so Cage is going to uh, lock on to the Berserker. Mm -hmm. And thanks to Panopticon Scan, mm -hmm. I will get to know a crucial detail here. Alright, current HP 4, and he's not actually afflicted by anything that would. Uh, the reliable will not do it, that's correct. Yep. Mm. We'll send all. What I will still opt to do is uh, fire at the Berserker. I'm gonna barrage. Mm -hmm. So that the Berserker will get attacked with the concussion missiles. Mm -hmm. And I will consume lock on him in so doing. What's the other gun you're firing? It's 
Fuel rod? Fuel rod gun. Gotcha. Like the Sentinel. Yep. Or, well. Hmm. Does the fuel rod gun have range 5? I thought it was 3. Might be wrong. Fuel gun has. Let's check here. I think it. I think it's five, but might be. I'll just. Uh. Well, it's not gonna let me do it without actually rolling for it yet. So, uh, give me just one second. Actually, what I'll do is I'll order of operations here. I will first start by shooting at the. Uh, Berserker. Yeah. At the Berserker. Uh, fuel gun gun is range and threat three. Three three. Ah, range and threat three. Okay, so uh, hopefully. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, so declared barrage still says that I'm going to try and shoot this berserker with the fuel rod gun. One difficulty. Vanguard one. Neutral. A hit. Dealing three. Yeah. Oh, that is reduced to two, reduced to one damage, and that will trigger the Berserker's aggression. Uh, Cage, you are my hit, which is why we're going for that. That is a chain axe at neutral, coming in for a crit, dealing nine damage past your armor. In the absence <laughs> of anything else. But you also get to clear all your heat. <laughs> I sure do. In the absence <laughs> of anything else, we're going to uh, lock on to the... Uh, we're going to lock on to the Sentinel, just because yep. we HP. get that option. Yeah. And that's turn. Nice. Not really. <laughs> no, not at all, actually. <laughs> uh, the Sentinel is going to invade you, Junkyard. Okay. It's a hit for two heat and impaired. And then we are going to shotgun at you, Vat. Coming in at neutral. That's a hit for another six damage. Don't forget custom paint job. Let's see. Work custom paint job. Work custom paint job. Mm. Oh no. <laughs> it was how many damage? How uh, much damage? Six? six. Six go through. So you go to uh, four spell over. Go to nine HP and a structure. Uh, no. I always put frame features by accident. Uh, uh, we're done. Oh no! Wait, who just <laughs> invaded? Uh, the Sentinel invaded Junkyard. Oh. Well, they're sort of on the map somewhere, but. Let us fetch your mech. There you go, and you get a pilot. And that is the Sentinel drone. Not even gonna move. That leaves Junkyard and Vat. Ah. Ah. Yep. I think you can go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think I will. I think I'll go. Yeah. Berserker. I mean, that you could try to jockey the berserker to death. But you can go to your character. That's it will probably be best. 
First quick action will be a gravity gun. That's the witch? Mm, no, it's gonna be the, these two guys that try oh, to make it. Cancel those two nords. Yep. That's a berserker. Nope. And a sentinel. Yep. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, the berserker is. takes one. Uh, berserker's alive, barely. Uh, drag to this space. And he takes another one from. Oh, yeah. That's, that's it then. So. Death Cloud. Yeah. Predatory logic for your Berserker. <laughs> to recharge the uh. six up anyway, it's wasted. Entirely. You, you'll, you'll hit it with the six. <laughs> He's still got Hunter on it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna consume the lock on on the Sentinel. Mm -hmm. Shoot at the prototype. Mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna be. <laughs> if you make it accurate, it's gonna be one accuracy. <laughs> Shooting over uh, right. Vat's racket here. Oh, okay. So consuming lock on accuracy in build is gonna be one accuracy net. That's a miss. Um. Who's standing next to the the Drake's things do? I get to resistance to AoE stuff, but and it's uh, it doesn't around. help. I think we're out of AoEs. I'll move over here. Mm -hmm. and that's it. The engineer is going to come after you. Put down a turret drone, invade you. It's a miss. Turret drone at neutral, too large for cover. To miss as well. Can't hide. I'm hiding behind this tree. You can't <laughs> see me. <laughs> Impossibly hidden. Uh, all right, Vat, all you. I took a completed risk, but oh boy, I'm bad at math. <laughs> it's extra bad because you forgot your guns at home. <laughs> yes. Actually, let's see. Maybe if you if you scrounge around uh, in the in your cockpit, you can find someone, uh, some some gun. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, try clicking your token again. Let's see if we if we've acquired some gun that fell between the the seat posters. <laughs> <laughs> so what do I do? Uh, click your battle token. You should have a heavy signature now. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to shoot the signature at the sentinel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pop open the hatch. <laughs> that loose. That's it. Nice. Uh, dealing three points. And that is a full action to do. Going into round five. Uh, we ended on a player turn, so NPCs will go first here. Uh, we're going to start with the Engineer. Just gonna put out another turret. Just gonna try and invade you again. Sure misses. Gee, Billy. Why does your mom let you have two sentry guns? <laughs> that's a miss. And that's a hit for five. Reduced to four. The second one has a good okay. angle on me. What's your evasion? Higher than eight? What? Uh, it's ten. It's ten. 
Christ, why? Two agility. I, so I guess. I, so I get a movement. That was mainly the reason. Iskander has eight base? That's a lot. Snook has eight base. Uh, we're then going to cover, and that's a turn. Take four, you go to seven, I think. Oh, was there 15? Oh, gotcha. And that is that. Who would like to go next? Feel as though firework uh, might be able I to probably just want to delete witch. that witch right now, right? Uh, yes. yes, probably. Yeah, I will. I will go. I will protocol steady my. Yep. Protocol exposed. Mm, yeah, you're still exposed from your. Yeah, you don't failure. need to protocol. Oh, I'm exposed anyway. I don't <laughs> even need to do anything. You're now forever exposed. Oh, it's good exposed. to get in the rhythm. I expose my exposed. <laughs> That's true. That's true. You can't double expose. It does nothing. But yeah. And then a uh, two grind. accuracy shot on the witch twice. I want to hit that to kill, by the way. There we go. That sure does it. Murder that side. Other one on. Oh. <laughs> oh. E can you choose which weapon yeah, you fire with next after you do? Yep. First one? Yep, yep, you can. You can order it and the targets in any way you wish. Yeah. Uh, I could uh, mortar the engineer. The mm -hmm. sentinel is going to go next and it's probably going to shoot at you and kill you. So, Oracle the sentinel. Like, I could do both. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Integrated. Can uh, Oracle the sentinel first and see what happens and then uh, we can still mortar yeah, the engineer. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. The engineer already went, and the sentinel definitely needs to die. Uh, mm -hmm. Oracle against the uh, against the sentinel is going to be at one difficulty, though, at one accuracy, net, uh, because he's shooting over the wreckage of the berserker. It's going to be one difficulty, one accuracy inbuilt, one accuracy steady aim. So it's going to be one accuracy net against the sentinel. That's a miss. So we might want to smart gun the guy. <laughs> Yeah. That is going to be too accuracy. And let's kill. Yay. There we go. Right. Unless you want to overcharge, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> no. You, okay, I'm Might not going well, to. You've already at, done all. I'm all not. I, I've been. I've been given sage advice once that if more, if fifty percent or more of the enemy's actions are invades, then you should think carefully about what you're going to do next. But every enemy and, has an uh, invade. <laughs> And uh, I will take that advice and end turn. Alright. Cage, Vat, and Junkyard. Oh, sorry, Cavalier. I've been calling you Vat the entire time. It's my bad. My only request is that, uh, Junkyard, if you would lock on to that engineer for me. <laughs> help my chances. Sure, Cavalier's just gonna be, uh, I mean, Junkyard reloading could... that. Could do you one better, right? I'll just load my whole amount of cover too. Yeah, full amount of cover and lock on. <laughs> Gravity gun. Up. Gravity gun. Yep. You weak? Uh, one damage. Uh, sorry, four damage. Four damage. Yep. And. Lock on? No, I'll lock on. Mm -hmm. Nice. Alright, Cage, can we do it? <sighs> the turrets don't get reactions, right? No, they don't. 
running away from them. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Can we do well. it? 16 HP to rip through. At one accuracy. Mm-hmm. 17 is a hit. Dealing 19 kinetic. <laughs> Take those. And, uh, yeah. Too bad the chicken's gonna go bad in a second. <laughs> and with that, uh, that is all the saboteurs dealt with for this scene. Beautifully done. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure how sanitary this is now, with like. Berserker wreckage inside the water where they cooking the chicken, but you know. Well, I mean, we were told to guard exactly that spot, so I'm going to <laughs> just go ahead and assume <laughs> Janet Royal got it taken care of. <laughs> Let's see. We need some repairs, uh, especially for we... Cavalier. Was that the last turn, or would we have a chance to eat out of the bucket the last three charges? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll get the bucket over, that's fair. Uh, give me just a magnet here. Uh, there, there. And there. All right, we'll bring the bucket. Copy all this nonsense, and here we go. All right, before we're uh, sticking our greasy fingers into the bucket again, uh, let's go and repair Cavalier here. So don't you have Grease Monkey 3, Junkyard? Oh, you do. Yes. Nice. All right, but before that happens, we need to repair your Mac Cavalier. Uh, you need four repair points to get your Mac back up to one structure, one stress, Full HP, zero heat, no longer destroyed. Uh, then uh, Grease Monkey 3 kicks in and everybody gets a structure for free back. So you go to 2 Cavalier. So I'm going to spend my last two repairs to get you 3 structure. Mm -hmm. uh, and then your teammates can get you up to uh, 3 repair points back. And everybody also restores uh, one charge of each limited system. And Cage can provide all three, for what it's worth. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go in order, though. Uh, firework. Your exposed falls off, your stable, uh, stationary falls off, and then you can spend your repair points. You have six repair points. Uh, it costs two to repair a reactor. It costs one to get your HP back to full. So you can spend five here to just be back to 100%. Uh, are we going with that? Oh, so who is first? Firework. Firework. Okay. Firework, you there? Stack. Stack. All right, cage. Uh, you have six repair points. Mm -hmm. So, one can go towards uh, restoring the last stress points. Or two can go towards restoring the last stress point, excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, five work uh, oh. Three will go towards uh, getting Cavalier as up as best we can mm -hmm. and uh, yeah the last um well i guess i'll save the last one just in case the bucket helps out with some hp there uh how much do you heal from repair cap again uh so you can spend two to repair your stress by one uh so if you spend four on your stress and one for your uh hp to get back to full, uh, that is five repair spend. You have one left over. Mm 
So back to zero stress and two HP. Uh, yep. Full H full uh, full stress, uh, full HP, and you can clear your heat if you want to. Uh, it's optional. Probably should mm. just so that you can overcharge with impunity. Yeah, on your first I'll I'll clear. Got it. All right, Cage, you are getting your stress back. You are getting. That's two for the stress. What else are we getting back? Three to help out Cavalier. Three to help out Cavalier. Nice. And uh, one left. Yeah, we'll save it. Okay. I'm not taking the HP. Oh, because of the bucket. Yep, that's right. Because of the bucket. The bucket. Uh, junkyard. You have four repair points. All right. So the first two are going to repair my grenades. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get those babies back. Um, how many can we donate to Cavalier right now? Uh, Cavalier can get one more. I'm going to clear my heat. And then... Do I want to get my structure back, or donate one and save one? I'm fine with either. Hmm? It's your call. I'm fine. Well, because the extra one would get you another stress, right? Uh, but then, yes. Okay, so yeah, I'll donate one and keep one then. Uh -huh. Okay, so Cavalier, you go to force repair points and Junkyard to keep one. All right, Cavalier, you have another four repair points to spend now. She's stress. Just, just dumping that into stress. Choose structure, no. Choose stress. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, and then we have uh, three pieces of chicken left. <laughs> Which uh, we can divvy up between Cage and Junkyard. Who wants to roll first? I'll roll first. So I'll eat one. You eat one for three. And uh, Cage, you want to munch one too? Or do you want to Cage munch? Will hold his nose and munch down. All right. We're munching for five. One torch left. I mean, Cage is still five from full, so. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Nice! Oh! Double, double fist at chicken. It's a mighty fine chicken. Nice. Alright. a ravenous eater. <laughs> uh, let's take a quick break till 20 past. That's 9 minutes. And then we can uh, get those temperature readouts. Ah, oh, jeez. There we go. All right, how are we doing? It's so we got a raid from Angry Tuttle. Jeez, thank you. Oh yeah, I can't uh, pay too much attention to chat while while running the game. It's too much. So it's like it's like awkward, right? It's like in the middle of a game. I can't like respond really. Um, I can't really verbally respond to chat in the middle of the session. That's just not great. <laughs> anyway, you anyway you see it. <laughs> and skull crusher with the fifteen bits. <laughs> <laughs> and the center's gonna move to here, and it's Skull Crush with 100 bits. Thank you for the subscription. <laughs> um, yeah, hope you're enjoying the show. Uh, Lance is pretty fun. Uh, 
Um, good, good times with Lancer, definitely. We also have a a little guy here. Look, it's a little, a little guy. It's just a little guy. He hatched from an egg last last session. Uh, it's just vibing. <laughs> Quite literally, his birthday. We uh, also had a had a bigger guy though. It's just a larger guy. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for it anyway, um, Angry Turtle. Appreciate it a lot. Might have to... Might have to pay it forward, uh... And... <laughs> raid another Metal Gear Revenge stream after the stream. Because that's what we do here. <laughs> the only thing we can raid is Metal Gear Revenge streams. Because Interpoint Station is co-directed and co-written by Hideo Kojima. I'm sticking with it. <laughs> I'm a bit sad that the... I mean... <laughs> The first scene, Predatory Logic Daisy Cut, is just so... Ugh. Like... Ugh. Mm. Predatory Logic King, the Daisy Cutter, is just... That's just dirty. That's dirtier than just, da uh, than just Predatory Logic King, your own NPCs. Um, yeah. It's not great. <laughs> not a good feeling. I mean, I love it, but I'm evil, so... Eh. can you do? Um, other than that, not much has happened. We're still working on the homebrew stuff. Um, threw in some in... in as an LP LCP in the CompCon, some of the homebrew stuff. The Casino Mech is in the CompCon now. Um, yeah. Worked on macros yesterday, put some of the Wallflower uh, mechs in. So, that's done. Oh, I heard that the NPCs are in as well, so I might do them soon ish. I think next week we can start playing with uh, Wallflower stuff. And, um, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Uh, although I don't know how <laughs> you'd like to have an arcade mech. That's pretty neat. I uh, know we made a casino mech. That's like, um, it's super gambly. It's really fun. Uh, it has a reaction that lets it play blackjack against an NPC that hit with an attack. And if it loses with, with the 20, so it looks like... <laughs> So you're hit with an attack. You roll d20s until you stop, or you uh, bust out at 21 at over 21. Uh, the, the NPC then does the same. If they meet uh, or go above, uh, they win the the the, cont the contest. If they go over 21, they lose, obviously. And that the loser, uh, if you win, you are immune to the attack. If you lose, you take uh, three damage. Which is pretty fun. So glad to see anti Wolfrock can move up soon. Um, yeah. Not a big fan of any of the Wolfrock mechs, to be honest. <laughs> it's just like, eh. They're alright, but none of them thrill me. An insane amount. Maybe I'm just too jaded. Who knows. Um... And I don't know what the fix for the Ranger Swallowtail is going to be, because that core power is currently broken. Uh, the current Ranger Swallowtail core power gives your whole team invisibility for the whole scene, which is probably too strong. Uh, but I don't know if they're going to fix it by saying that the... by nerfing the... 
passive core power because that might make the ranger too weak or if they're just nerfing the core power itself. Um, so I don't know. I'm gonna go for... so uh, I'm gonna go with the um, passive core power nerf. Which... Yeah, mainly because it's easier to just request one word to change. And that then fixes also the core power. Uh, but I don't know what the official thing is going to be on that. No clue. Should have asked Tom. Well, I, I spoke to Tom about the thing on the stream, right? I just messaged him, actually. It's like... Eh. I can show you, actually. What I'm talking about. If the thing loads. <laughs> Care sheets have been gotten <laughs> getting so big. It's just ridiculous. It takes uh, ages to load. Uh, five four five. So grounded says uh, when you end your turn in a zone with grand soft cover, you become invisible until you use that cover. Attack, force a save, <coughs> or take any other hostile action that affects another character. So the keyword here is end your turn. So you get a full turn, then end in soft cover, and then become invisible. Uh, which is really, really strong. And uh, that's probably fine on the Swallowtail, because it's just one mech. Uh, if you core power, however, you give grounded to every ally within your uh, sensor range, which is 20. So everybody, basically. Um... And having an entire PC team that is just invisible when they end their turn in soft cover, um, yeah. <laughs> At that point, uh, I would need to run encounters that are oops all scouts <laughs> because it's just it's just <laughs> it's trivial, right? When fifty percent of the attacks uh, miss all the time, like, it's just what are we doing? <laughs> Do you think it would be decent to activate it when you start your turn rather than... Yeah, yeah, see, that's that's what I'm gonna go with uh, until we get clear location. Um, it might be too weak on the passive, it's what I'm thinking as well, but uh, it only requires to replace end with start. And that is an easier fix than me trying to reword uh, this to be uh, not nonsensical for the guerrilla warfare. Um, so Swallowtail Rangers will have to deal with it, I'm afraid. Or I could just message Tom. Maybe I'll do that. Let's see what, what he says. Alright, scene two or something. Also like hugging wall. Hello. Hi. Hello. Scene two. Hi. Scene two. We have to get some temperature readouts to make sure that the uh, water baths are at the correct temperature. Uh, however, the chicken pirates also want to get their hands on this because then they can uh, mess with the uh, production line. Uh, this is an escort mission, sorry, an extraction mission. Always mix those two up. Uh, the goal for this mission is to bring the readouts from the objective zone all the way back to your deployment zone. Uh, you have eight rounds to do so. Also, all of you are pretty slow, so you better haul ass. And, uh, yeah. The way the readouts work is... Let's pick you up, Cavalier. Uh, if you start your normal movement adjacent to the readouts, you can then move and place the readouts anywhere adjacent to your mech. Simple as... Uh, if you then boost, the readouts will not come with you. The readouts only move on a normal movement. Uh, additionally, should there be an NPC adjacent to the readouts, you will have to first uh, either destroy or move away that NPC because the readouts cannot move as long as an NPC is adjacent. Uh, does that make sense? Is that clear? Clear to me? Perfect. In that case, 
Uh, we don't have NPCs on the map on the first round. Uh, reinforcements coming will be coming in uh, from the ingress zones at the end of each round. So definitely look out for those. Uh, eight drones to do it, I believe in you. Uh, don't forget that you can boost to there and then uh, move back and then uh, sort of baton race it back to your deployment zone. And that is about it. Alright. Cavalier, you can place yourself uh, in the deployment zone properly and I think then we can get into it. Who would like uh, to take I guess who wants to the first turn? Well, we should probably sorry. We should probably just race out. Yeah, who's the okay. who's the fastest? No. You're you're all four. <laughs> oh. I have five. You do? It's amazing. Yes. Okay. I put on Oh, it's true, you're still five. Say, we gotta move it Evasion. so that Cavalier I feel like you should be in the middle. Uh, yeah, we should be in the middle. The fastest. Yeah, get a straight boost. shot. Mm -hmm. Sweet. So start, uh, start down here first. Right oh, here? Go Wait, straight yeah, just... the Oh, okay. Let's take a there's move. no enemies yet. Yep, first round there's no enemies. So you can just move Dan 10. Is here. Sorry, my rule 20 is acting up. Oh, no worries. I can here. put you there. Okay. <laughs> Overcharge boost. And I boost. guess... <laughs> Charge boost. Is your... Boost, yes. Third overcharge. And... Oh, I think my... I forgot. Yes. Let's see... And you can, of course, activate core if you like. Core is free action, right? Uh, protocol, yep, start turn. Yes, I... Nice! Never punished! Nice, so... I'm going to activate the core system. Mm -hmm. And second boost. <laughs> it's just fire this one. I think it's... Oh, it's the... In the... Oh, I wasn't the ruler, so it's right here. Uh, nope, that's too far. Oh, that's too far? Yep. Because boost is only one regular movement. Correct. Oh, yes. So you, so you can Sorry. move uh, 15 spaces, which brings you right there. Okay. And... All right, End turn. halfway across the map. All right, since they're not here this turn. Uh, do you guys have anything you want to do? Because I'll just go then. Go for it. I'll catch up. We, we all just get to move this round? Uh, basically, yeah, it's a set up round. Then NPCs will be coming right. in from the ingress zones. I'm moving boost and then I'm gonna drop some grenades. Er, uh, mines. <laughs> yep. A hex mine here, I guess. And then here, I'm going to put um, a blink mine. And then here will be a... 
<laughs> a hex mine. Could also instead of putting the hex mine there, uh, the first one you could uh, throw a warp grenade <laughs> at Cavalier. Uh. That's a lot of movement. Yeah, I could. What do you guys think? I think moving him, he's gonna be pretty far away from us, but I'm okay with doing that. I think we will make it work. All right. All right. I'll just check the warp grenade and move him five more. Or whatever that is. It's a lot more than five. Well, it's six plus the plus the the toe to here, right? <laughs> it's like seven. Yeah, I guess that's right. It's pretty nuts. All right. Uh, but you can still deploy the two other mines if you like. Uh, well, I didn't plan a mine. I threw a grenade. Oh, does so that does that work? Oh, gotcha. Womp womp. All right, cage. Okay. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Boost. Another four. Then up. Or, no, actually, no. Let's let's do something a little bit more uh, protective. We're going to put out a Aegis. we're in the area, this thing has three charges. Each charge will remove a d6 of damage from something that hits us. Nice. So it's just like a bucket. Yeah. Except the, 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 <laughs> the nice thing is it's reactive. <laughs> don't, don't forget that uh, you have Peck away, Cavalier, and well, you have the Wait, gr I'm, grenade. I'm sorry, who's who's shooting at us? Nobody's shooting at you. He he made a little protective shield next to him. Oh. And uh, firework, I might add, if you've taken a move and a boost, you can actually prepare an action to shoot at something with uh, within range 15, if you like. True. Just because if people Aaron start I? showing up. Yeah, you can essentially designate any quick action as something that you will respond to using your reaction. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, impair. There you go. Can definitely prepare skirmish to shoot at something when something comes into range. Yeah, uh, noted. Nice. Uh, going to round two, we're getting some friends. We are getting a Cedar and Berserker from the bottom left. Uh, that triggers your prepared action fireworks. So if you want them, you can shoot there. Yeah, I'll. Feel, I feel like you. No, the berserker has resistance. Yet. Oh, I didn't do any of the protocols. You mean the I mean, I guess activate I, your? I, I wouldn't have wanted to. I wouldn't have wanted to. Oh, does it? The core power wouldn't 
be anything bad for you. It just increase your range. Yeah, I'll I'll take a mish. Mm -hmm. And that also triggers integrated weapon, right? Yep, that triggers a integrated weapon for sure. Thermos switch smart Cedar. And that is just at one accuracy, I think. Yep, one accuracy. Use two damage. And an oracle. Oh, what? Mm. Oh, is there a. Oh, do they resist it? Ah, uh, they have oh, two armor. Two armor. He has two armor. Okay. See, there's two armor. Yep. The accuracy. This uh, is also one. Depends who you're shooting at. Uh, Seeker. Cedar is at neutral because you're shooting over a piece of hardcover. Neither of you are uh, adjacent. So it's going to be one difficulty soft cover. Neutral shot. Might actually be worth shooting the Berserker then. You can mess with his aggression. True. Oh, it, it'd be worth it? Yeah. 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 Oh, wait, nope. That was an accuracy one. Uh, so that's actually... Got the cedar, it's... yeah, don't worry about it. That's it. Just take a regular hit. That is no damage. Uh, no damage wait, is gonna... still damage. And that triggers the aggression. Very sad. Alright, uh, in that case we ended on a player turn, the Berserk is going to go first, go to here, Avalanche charge, uh, random adjacent character, there's only one character adjacent, the Aegis is not a character, it's a miss on you, skirmish, that's a hit for six. Go ahead and burn the Aegis on it. Mm -hmm. Or wait, is that? Let me just read this again. Yeah, it's a reaction, so. Yep. Bring that down and roll a. Oh, should I. Just roll a d6. Just roll a d6. Okay. Hey, no damage. Nice. And that's a Berserker gone. Who would like to go next? <laughs> I think I can reach already the readout. Or maybe. I don't think I. They are at 15 range. So I could try to tech attack them. If you want to do oh, it before wait. you move, go for it. Well, what should I do? Take the readout or try to stop this Berserker hurting you? Um, well, the Berserker is already gone, so might as well go get the readout. Uh, what but you, can, you don't... What you, what you we can, can, do is you can start by invading the Berserker and then just move boost towards the readout. Because if you invade the Berserker and uh, put... Impair slow on him, then, then probably he can just be killed. Because I was thinking, oh, I'm going to do something better. Mm -hmm. I forgot about the other horror system one. I'm going, to... oh no, but I'm going to hit you. With... <laughs> yeah, you're gonna hit. You're gonna hit me with it, and also, as we've discovered, Jam doesn't actually <laughs> break his defense. True. So... Jam does do it. So just use just use him uh, just use fragment signal on him. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a fragment signal dealing to heat impaired and slowed, getting rid of the resistance here. 
and then I'm going to boost yep. to get to the redoubt. Mm -hmm. Some boost and a move, and you got two spaces left once you arrive there. Got it. Can place that anywhere, Jason, if you like. Oh, I'm going to place there. Huh? Yeah. Very nice. All right, Cedar is going to go with boost. Plunk down a mine. And that is its turn. Do you guys want to uh, I try and shoot the cedar? I, I Should guess definitely doesn't... kill the berserker because he doesn't have the resistances. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have his resistances. Doesn't have his uh, resistances, doesn't have his reaction. Now is the time. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing uh, he's... What does engaged count as? Is that... Adjacent. Not covered. You're not engaged with the Berserker. Yeah, you're not engaged with him. And you're both you're both touching cage, so that doesn't provide cover. If you were no melee, I guess. Alright, um I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the well, first, as a protocol, I'll mm -hmm. I'll immobilize. Yep. Protocol, I'll expose. Uh, as a protocol, I'll activate my core power. Then I will overcharge. Mm -hmm. Basics, overcharge, fourth one. Yep. Uh, one second. The, I kept clicking that. And... Oh, sorry. I should be in behind you, actually. Yeah, I don't know why I'm not able to access. Can you click your token? Make sure you click on the right side of your mech, so you're not clicking cage. That could be if we're slightly overlapped. There, go to here. Does it work there? Oh, now I can. You got it. That's five heat. Quick. And what are we doing with this quick action? Uh, Hunter's Lock on the Berserker. You got it. And you have a full action left. I'll lead with uh, I'll arrive. Mm -hmm. Un -er. Would you like to crack shot too as well? Uh, do you have to do it on the first attack? No. No, but it'll give you the bonus damage that'll burn him. Oh. Uh. Can save it for the second attack if you like. Or the Oracle even. I think I should be saving it for the second attack. Because uh, Nuclear Cavalier only. First one. 
Mhm. You got it. That is a two accuracy smart gun for the Berserker. Oh. I'm not sure why it's not clicking. Is your bar going again? I'm on the choose target screen and... Oh, you can just close that if it broke up. I've cleared something. Yeah, I, think it's, something. I think it's just a oh, problem. It's because the, um, the berserker is behind the blast. Is it? It's not on my end. Uh... Yeah, I rolled a I, the... I rolled a three, so it doesn't. I don't know. Not try with weapons. I guess, I guess I'm. Oh. Uh, can a nine hit a berserker? Yeah, definitely. It's way more than uh, nine anyway. It's already a five, and the berserker has uh, six e defense. So it's already hit. Oh, it's already. Oh. Uh, that deals. Um, Four, reduce to three, and then you can go to talents and click Nuclear Cavalier. That is another two damage, so we're taking another eight damage here. So four plus five. Yep, it's eight burn. And three more from Hunter's Lock? Oh, plus three again. It's in there already. That's uh, two okay. bonus damage from Fusion Hammerage, three from Hunter's Lock, three from Tokugawa. Mm -hmm. Alright, then you have the Oracle LMG. Oh, I... oh yeah, I should, I should check for the Oracle. On the Oracle, I will... It's gonna be a one accuracy shot. Uh, for cover? No, no, for, uh, you made it difficult. Yep, you make it one difficult. Uh, opening, opening argument, plus one. Oh, gotcha. Stabilize plus one. Yep. Opening argument gives you an accuracy. It's two accuracy. it. I'd use another five damage for a kill. I will point my smart gun at this seeker. Mm -hmm. It's going to be too difficult. Uh, too accuracy. hit, dealing uh, five damage, three of which will burn. You want to try to headshot him or something? Uh, it's not a crit, so it doesn't work. Oh, it's only on crits. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I think that... Sweet. Nicely done. You got it. That leaves Cage and Junkyard. Junkyard, if you'd like to do something terrible. Um, I mean, I'm Maybe just gonna drop seven. mines and uh, move up to try to help Cavalier run the Good baton. Stuff. Go for so, it. All right. Um. I'm gonna move to here, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna drop mine. I'm 
then continue my movement. And then boot. Mm -hmm. Alright, and cage. Okay. Uh, I think I just want to verify about Leviathan. If I overcharge, I can spin up and fire same turn. Correct. correct. Yep, that is correct. Alright. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what's, the, what what's the worst that could happen? Well, let's... Uh, the obvious answer is I miss. <laughs> that is now, of course, the way of know. the world. You go, to, you go to 8 heat and then you miss. That's the worst you can have. Uh, third well, overcharge. It's only third overcharge, so. Mm -hmm. So we're only going to seven heat and missing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, that said, that does bring up whether the that is actually the best course of action at this point. Um, gonna move mm -hmm. down to here. Yep. Oh, by the way. Uh, since all this talk of uh, gambling came up, a uh, firework I'll ask you to remember, my bet is it's this spot. <laughs> That's just my guess, though. We'll see. Um, That's fair. Beca because um, ultimately, instead of... Uh, I, I think instead of doing the spin-up, I am going to just try and fire the fuel rod gun. Since okay. I'm, uh, Wait, you want me to, to move there? No, 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 no. no. He, uh, he's, yes. It's, it's a minesweeper. It's like that's oh, that's my, my minesweeper bet. That's my bet on where it is. Oh, uh, okay, okay. That's it. Yeah. And dealing, dealing two points. And now is the part where I get to figure out nuclear cavalier. Um, doesn't happen. Oh. Because yep. you're on a, on attack, you go down to one heat, and then on hit, you're no longer in danger zone. Okay, okay, that's how that combination works. Uh, I'm I'm unsure if it's how it works. It's uh, how I'm doing it. <laughs> okay, okay, that's that's fine. That's perfectly all right. Um. What I will do instead then is those one, two, three squares of movement. I'm just gonna walk it back one, mm -hmm. and uh, that's that's unfortunate. Um, I'm going to lock onto the cedar. Okay. Five HP currently. And, uh, spin up. <laughs> spin up after all. Yep. You got it. I'd like to see if I can scare him at least. <laughs> Spins up chain gun menacingly. <laughs> That's turn. <laughs> Going to round three. We're getting more friends. Getting a cataphract and a witch from the top right. Uh, Cedar is going to go first. We are going to plonk down a mine. Within three spaces somewhere. And uh, then we're going to uh, fire our gun on this space. Is a neutral graph grenade launcher. One target. The missile. Oh, Cedar, come on. Ending turn. Oh, uh, engine check, by the way. Yep. No longer on fire. And that is that.
Where do you think the second mine is cage? Well, um... <laughs> that is... That is a tricky one. Wait, uh, are we, are we now deciding who's... who should go first? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I can try the... I can try to kill the witch before they do something stupid. I understand that, but let's actually see if we can't get Cavalier. Yeah, I think Cavalier should go closer. first. Because that Cataphract yeah. is going to just zone in on him really hard, otherwise. And also, I yeah. can't... Uh... I can't boost anymore due to the... If I boost, I will drop the... Correct. The, the, thing, only, right? the thing only moves with you if you take a standard movement. If you boost, uh, you can take it with you. So, right. as this happens, I am going to use the Hyper Death. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Slowing yourself because That's of armor. armor. Yep. So then, yes. So then, one. I have walked two squares, right? Two spaces. Yeah, uh, no. Slow does not reduce your movement, it just makes it so you I know, can't I know. boost anymore. He, he's just one, splitting two. up his movement. Oh, gotcha. Uh, in that case, uh, you can move one, two, three, four, five to here. Okay. And with my other quick action, mm -hmm. if I jam the cataphract, he can't attack, right? That is correct. Unless. So I'm going to use the horrors. <laughs> oh no, not unless. <laughs> so I'm going to invade him. Cataphracts have. Um... I think I'll trample, so they just deal damage by moving through people, but not too much. Yeah. Oh. So I'm going to, let's see, maybe if I put him really far he can't reach. I mean the 200 Q play is the cataphract is speed 8, uh, to put it within your overwatch range and then immobilize with a shot. <laughs> Ooh, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about my. Nope. I got to use. I got to do that. You sure have a core power, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about. Uh, the only downside is we will have to move the full aid uh, to there. It's alright. It's. It's a, it's a clean shot, and he's way out in the open now. Plus one accuracy. Mm -hmm. That's crit. <laughs> Dealing uh, 5 and damage because the Cataphract has point defense shield and you're a closest character. Uh, that is 13 damage reduced to 7. And we're then becoming immobilized as per your core power hyper reflex mode. He's, well, the Cataphract is so angry, so close to the readout, so he can't touch it. True. <laughs> If you if you make so that a full so if you make that a full tech, uh, you can just invade the cataphract again, send him back, <laughs> and shoot again. <laughs> oh no, sorry, no, sorry. You only get no, 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 right, no, right, no, right, no, right. armor already happened. So. I, I I lied. Uh, you get you get uh, two overwatches per round, but you only still get one reaction per turn. So that's uh, not gonna work. I have a quick... He's mobilized, so yep, he's I don't immobilized. think I can move him. Uh, no, you can, because puppet systems, puppet systems is uh, involuntary movement. Involuntary movement does not care about uh, oh. mobilized. And I used uh, my two actions, so I'm going to change turn. Uh, what was his second action? Oh, activate hyper dance, yeah, quick action. Yep, you got it. Yes. Um, well... Hmm. Because the cataphract will angrily throw spears at you. <laughs> it's a ranged ram cannon at two accuracy. Makes two attacks. It's a hit for uh, five, reduced to three. That's a hit for five, reduced to three. Uh, we'll also try and invade you, I guess. Which is never gonna happen. Nope. And that is a turn for the cataphract. All right, jump your and cage. Uh, so I've got two options as I see it. I can either delete this cedar or I can uh, 
search, or I can help out Firework on his turn by searching for the other mine. What well, think, I'll, I'll just try to shoot some stuff at the witch. Mm -hmm. And go do. first. Please do. I'll move to here. Yep. I'll use my new fancy roller charge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that reaches even <laughs> nine explosive. <laughs> All right. Yep. Checks out. Uh, knock back three and take a nine, I guess. Unless you don't want to knock back, that's up to you. Oh, you can knock it back. Uh, not to get Wait, uh, let me check rain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's like that. It's still fun, right? Might be 25 range. Uh, nope, barely out. <laughs> Did you knock them back a bit less? Than oh, wait. No. no, I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw. Her. A frag grenade on him. Okay. That is two damage. Should be safe. Yep. Taken one. And I'll yeah. move, move back once more. You got it. Hmm. Uh, Does the witch speed 5 or speed 6? Six? 6? Nice. Um, oh, but you can't. Uh, Alright, we can try. We'll, we'll go for broke. Uh, this is going to trigger overwatch. Shoot up. Uh, but first, please give me a invisibility check. So, how do I do this? Oh, sorry. Should have a button bottom left. Wait, where can I make the check? System. Uh, should have a button in the bottom left, if you put it there. Quick oh, rolling. invisible check. check. You got it. Oh. Miss. Uh, hooray, we made it. Uh, we're going for a predatory logic on you, Firework. That is big funny. That's a hit. Oh, Jesus, pressure logic today. Holy fuck. Uh, please shoot <laughs> your smart gun at Cage. Thank you. Buddy, how could you? That's a hit. Uh, that deals two kinetic and three burn. So five overall. Uh, I'll use the Aegis Shield reaction on that one. Mm -hmm. And. <laughs> it turns out each shield is pretty good if it just reduces damage by six. <laughs> uh, does that work on burn? Uh, probably takes damage, you may reduce. Uh, nobody knows, sure, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, Actually, I think you might still take the burn, but not the damage from the burn. But that's also dumb. I have no idea. So I can't, I can't, I can't tell you this. Doesn't so matter. cage is on fire, but it means nothing. <laughs> it means nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that's correct. I'm like, no, good a good seventy five percent on that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that uh, is the witch's turn. Feel that I will uh, 
blow up this cedar now. Mm -hmm. One whole accuracy if you consume block on. Yeah, I will. It's hit. Obliterated. Okay, now the <laughs> question is actually yes, this there there is a way I can do this somewhat safely. Mm -hmm. Standard move one. Mm hmm Two. Mm hmm Three. Mm hmm Four. Mm hmm Okay. And that is You got it. And firework all you. Oh yeah, engineering check right. burn. <laughs> There it what is. I do. Uh, right. Hey. The non-existent ghost flames go out. <laughs> oh. By the by, I heard some spooky lightning outside. I apologize if I lose power. It's <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, firework. All right. All you. All right. Uh, first, I will use my smart gun. I'll I'll barrage. Nope. Protocols. That is crack shot one. That is radiance. And then you can barrage with smart guns. Yep. It's gonna be too accuracy. Are you gonna, are you gonna do the crack shot two on it? Because it's a one accuracy shot. Right. That's crit. Dealing seven plus D six plus D six plus two heat. Plus all of that spur. So it's a cat right. Super dead. Shot on the witch is at two accuracy. Unless it's the uh, oracle. Oracle is also two accuracy though. It was a smart gun. Dealing four, that's a kill. Nice. And I think that is a turn. Going to round four. From the top left, we are getting. An engineer and a sentinel. Uh, we ended on a player turn, so let's start with sentinel. Uh, we'll just go to here. Uh, lock on and shoot at you, junkyard. It's one accuracy shotgun. <laughs> Misses. And that is the sentinel turn. And you mocked me for having... <laughs> I didn't mock you, I was just surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the scanner was 6 base. 
Oh, they basically. No, I mean, uh, we do a lot of escort missions, so that's why I have yeah. extra movement. Oh, makes sense. May I start? Please do. So I'm going to walk my five spaces of movement. My five spaces. Yep. Five whole four, spaces. Two, three, four. Wait, maybe go down the lower path? That seems a bit straighter. And then the I'm going to. Do you want to put oh. it behind you or in front of you? I'm going to put here. And then I'm going to use uh, full tech action, the mm -hmm. sentinel. And I'm going to use the back away and the puppet systems. Mm -hmm. So the first invasion is that, so puppet system. Oh no, first is the back away. And then the second invasion. Sorry, the what? I'm going to use the pack away and the puppet system. The eject power cores? No, pack no, away the, the, uh, the, the, the reserve. Oh, the, the pack reserve. away. Gotcha, sorry. Yep, that is going to be uh, impaired and. Uh, yep. And then we're moving five, taking five damage, and then we're getting shot and in the face. <laughs> yes. Rude. Incredibly rude. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Critical hit. Can't <laughs> slap. And Upcom. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's a kill! <laughs> this poor man <laughs> did not see the coming. Beleza. <laughs> and that's my turn. Forgot Good turn. turn. Sorry. <laughs> Good turn. <laughs> uh, the s engineer is gonna move to here. Pops up a sentry. Is going to invade you, Cage. Oh, don't forget to give yourself two heat, by the way. From firing the Leviathan, very important. Yes, yes. That is four heat for you, actually. Mm -hmm. And then the turret comes to life. It's a turret attack on you, junkyard. Hits for four damage. Ending turn. Alright, uh. I think I should uh, take care of that. By all means. Sure. Um, how much movement would it take to climb up it? Six. Climb up what? Cover it. Uh, six bases. Yep. Yeah, more than I. Yeah, but I mean, all your guns are RK. I ignore left side. You can just shoot the guy. Yeah, you can just shoot the just guy. You just yeah. Super doesn't matter. I'll use my first action. Smart lock. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, hunter's lock. Sorry. Hunter's lock requires line of sight. I think. Oh. It is, well, it's not here. I thought it was within <laughs> sensors. It is within sensors. Yep. Nope. That's how I see it as well, and pilot qu pilot net will not dissuade me from this. <laughs> if they wanted it yeah, to have line of no. sight, they should have written it in there. Yeah, that's yeah, my st that. that's my stance. Wow, that's like the one exception. Very nice. All right, and then I'll shoot at it with my smart gun. Mm -hmm. Do you want a crack shot beforehand? Uh, no. Okay. In that case, it is just uh, one accuracy. Oh, wait, no, I forgot to do the protocol. Oh. It's gonna. 
Uh, that's why I'm asking. Do you want to? Do you want a crack shot for it? No, but oh, like uh, crack shot one. Even crack shot two, given the circumstances. Yeah, you could do crack shot one and two here if you like. Yeah, it'll probably kill the game. Alright, uh, wouldn't it be act two? Yeah, act um, one if you go for both. Yeah. One accuracy inbuilt, uh, one accuracy from uh, Crackshot 1 if you activate it. And then uh, it would be minus one accuracy from Crackshot 2. Uh, I do not want to activate Crackshot 2. Okay, do you want to activate Crackshot 1? Yep. In that case, it is a two accuracy shot. That's a hit. Dealing two heat. Plus 10, 6 of which is burn, and then nuke have triggers. So there are 2 damage, and the burn takes up to 8. Very cool. And the Oracle comes in at it's gonna be one difficulty, it is at two difficult uh, two accuracy net. With crack shot, the crack shot crack shot two, it's gonna be one accuracy net. accuracy and then oh yeah I guess it's three it's uh, two accuracy net sorry no it's one accuracy net because soft cover and crack shot two it's one accuracy net three goes down to one that's crit that deals five and another d6 another four that's kill Click the enter button, and that is that. That leaves Cage and Junkyard. Uh, junkyard, you can go ahead and do some setup if you like. Guess I'll just move and boost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you boost and move, you can put the thing to here. Boost and move. And then... I'll toss a warp grenade to move Cavalier. Mm -hmm. Nice. Let me just fetch you the AOE. Alright, Cavalier, you get to teleport anywhere in this zone. Can I teleport to yep. grab it and put it here then? In the next turn or only, or...? Uh, yes. Turn? As you, when you start, yeah, you, you, don't, you don't get to move it. Yeah. Actually, if you move the readouts, Cage will move them a bit for you. I uh, moved it as much as I could, but... Yep. What you could do is, like... Teleport to over here, and Cage can move it. The, the warp readout. grenade does not uh, move with this because it, the oh. warp grenade only moves characters, not the readouts. Right. Okay. right. Fair enough. I don't. I don't know if Cage could boost. Uh, yeah, that will work out. Uh, well, Leviathan says no, but um, I could stop it. Yeah, I can spin down this protocol. Uh, yeah. Uh. Think move it over here or something. Right. And then back up. Well, there is there is one other thing I'd want to do with uh, 
with my actions at this point. Or have you used all of your yeah move boost warp? You're done. Yeah. Okay. There is one other thing Cage would like to do with his actions at this point because mm -hmm. I need to know. <laughs> we need to know. <laughs> need to know. So, uh, basics systems check, I believe. Yep, systems check. Okay. Are you aura impaired or ever? Ooh. I am. I think I think this will remain a secret. Most likely will, but here we go. <laughs> you? <Yeah. sighs> okay. <laughs> Boost gets me one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, but ca Cavalier, why'd you have to go there? Because now we're gonna be in mine. We're gonna be in mine hell going that way. <laughs> We can so, go up and around. E e either way, we had to go. One, two. Up and around or through just, it. Just gonna go right back to where I was then. All right. If you if you believe that there's less mines down there, that's fair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Plus, I know. I mean, we... you could oh, have right. left it up top because Junkyard can walk through mines and not let set them off. <laughs> True. Junkyard or a hero. <laughs> uh. Well, oh. you're, more than, you're more than welcome to come down here. <laughs> I mean, it just... I could actually get past the mines, and then Firework could do it next turn. If he if he doesn't have to s kill somebody. Well, tell you what then. Uh, I can't put the... Can I put the readouts on the cover? <laughs> yeah, you can, definitely. That works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> If you believe you that there, if there, if you believe there aren't mines up there, <laughs> yeah, don't blow by up all, our readout. By all means, turn is over. All right, going into round five. We are getting two new friends. We're getting a berserker and a sentinel. Berserker will go first in typical berserker fashion. We're going to uh, run at you, Cage. Swinging. The chain axe at neutral. That's a hit for uh, six damage. And the chain axe at neutral. That's a hit for six damage. And day turn. Do you want to go, Cage? Well, there's not a hell of a lot to be done in this situation. Uh, I, I mean, feel like, like, I Firework feel like could try be, to delete the Sentinel for you. I feel like it would be most helpful if uh, Cavalier would uh, actually push the Berserker out of the way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about doing. Uh, full tech, uh, making him become impaired and moving him away with it. Puppet mm -hmm. systems. Definitely. So that's what I'm going to do. Full tech. Okay. Invade. Let's hit to heat impaired slowed. Puppet system. And do you now... wanna do the you wanna do the fragment signal first? You have to do another invade. Oh yes. But uh, just hit that thing and then we can move five spaces away. That's it, nice. And then uh, I'm guessing we're going to here. And that means, Cage, you get to Overwatch if you like. Uh, sure. We'll see if. Uh... Oh, but you don't want to actually because that will just get you slapped immediately. Right, because first available space, right? Okay. Correct. We're good. We're good. And that's my turn. Well, we're not. We're not moving. No, no. I'm okay. fine where I am. <laughs> maybe I step. At, maybe I step in. Way too much respect for the silly mine. Uh, Sentinel's gonna move up. Barrage. That's a north. At neutral. Mm -hmm. It's a hit for three. Yep. And then a shotgun at one difficulty. It's a hit for another five. 
Very well. And Why turn. did you leave your Aegis? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I Why did you not just choose to take six less damage? <laughs> because I had to know. Besides, I'm doing my, I'm doing my job here. That is also correct. As far as I'm concerned, uh, this is very much under control. Mm -hmm. Structure first. Just impaired. Just impaired. All right. Be good. At least firework and junkyard. Oh, and cage, actually. Uh, okay, yep. should I try and shoot at something or try and get the objective? Um, if you want to shoot, go ahead, but I can move the objective. Uh, if you can move the objective, then I should probably. Alright, go ahead. I'll. for the sentinel. Mm -hmm. Hunter's lock. Do you want a crack shot first? Uh, oh, uh, protocols, immobilized, slowed, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. immobilized, uh, exposed. Yep. Uh, uh, you're then... exposed, by the way, last until the end of your next turn, so your previous round exposed is still going on, and will run out at the end of, your, at, at the end of this turn. Y yeah. So you don't need to reapply it at this uh... point. Oh, oh, I don't. Oh, yeah. Well, force of habit. Uh... Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, like okay. I, I, I won't apply it, uh, and then I'll smart... No, I'll Hunter's Lock, and mm -hmm. then I'll Smart Gun uh, without a crack shot. Okay. That's Hunter's Lock. So that is, I believe, accuracy two. That is accuracy two, correct? That is a hit. Dealing four plus six is ten damage. Uh, Reduced to nine, I guess. Plus cav. Yep, plus two cav. Well, I'm new cav. So six damage. Uh, burn takes up to twelve. Uh, and then I'll fire Oracle. Mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, shooting over one. cover. That's uh, going to be two accuracy net, one accuracy if you crack shot two. I'll crack shot. Oh. Okay, one accuracy net. That's a hit, not a critical though. That is almost a kill. Uh, deals five. Uh, does not trigger because he didn't crit. Um, to take another three burn. Wait. Oh uh, yeah. On. Yeah, I think that's... You got it. And Junkyard. Or, ca or Cage, for that matter. Junkyard should go for it. Can I stand on the Aegis thing? Mm -hmm, you can. Can just uh, oh sorry you can move over it not stand on it sorry. Can I put the readout on it? Uh, nope. You wanna do me a favor? You can throw a grenade at the sentinel. Yeah, I'm gonna do something like that. But give me a second. <laughs>
All right, well, well, during my normal movement, I'll stop here for now and then go ahead. Yeah, we'll throw a Cedar mines only go off on enemies. Touch them, right? Yep. yep. Okay. Um. Then we'll throw. I'm gonna shoot the sentinel with my prototype weapon. Mm -hmm. Is five damage. Uh, two, eight. Yep. Wait. That's me for a There you go, since I can't stand on your thing. Okay. Quick question. Do mm -hmm. we all need to be on the uh, deployment at the end of it? Nope. No, just, just the readout. Just need the readouts on there. Okay. So, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit indulgent. Let's overcharge. Mm -hmm. That is the fourth one. Yep. Oh, that's the worst that could happen. <laughs> oh, I know. Can't even double stress, so what's the point? Mm -hmm. Go to six heat. And. Uh, right. Just impaired. Well, I mean, that's not great, but it does mean I'll still get to spin up the Leviathan again. Take a couple of steps to get me to here, mm -hmm. and uh, let this berserker know exactly what I think of him. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Cage has said all that needs to be said. <laughs> and that is turn. That's a lot of damage. Uh, I will use my built-in sound system to, to play the Sean Wall ad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, going to round six. Three rounds remaining. <laughs> Redos are making their way steadily <laughs> to the extraction zone. Cedar and Catapult from the top. Cedar will trigger the axe mine. Ah. Bump, bump. Man. <laughs> Taken one damage. Oof. What a jerk. Let's start with the Cataphract. Cataphract is going to move and boost. Actually, it's the Cataphract speed. Eight. Eight isn't enough. Um. Yeah, we're moving boost in here. And then not flying over anyway. We are going to cataphracts can fly. Going to ram. I mean, ramming. Oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> it's a hit. 
Uh, you are pushed one space away, and uh, Cage's prediction was indeed correct. There do be a mine there. So, uh, order of operations question: Can I reduce the Aegis? Uh, can I reduce the damage with the Aegis, or does the Aegis blow up first? Um, I don't think it matters because. Uh, oh, text damage. Why is it worded like that? Uh, no idea. Do it. Roll the six. Okay. I would like the Aegis. <laughs> To eat some damage. Uh, on which character would you like to do it? Firework or Junkyard? Uh, oh, Firework's not exposed anymore. Um, That's correct. So, I feel that Junkyard will be the one who will get uh, saved by it. So, Junkyard. junkyard. <laughs> did you roll a 5 for that? Jesus! Yes, I did. Yeah. I can, I can see it. He's just pretty good if you just... Delete 17 damage <laughs> off the board. <laughs> <laughs> it's nuts. <laughs> and uh, fireworks, please give me a um, agility save or take 12. Any accuracy or difficulty? Nope. Just control. That's a failure. You take 11 points of damage, going down to 10. Ending the Cataphract's turn. I mean, if you want to kill a Cataphract, go for it. Firework? Uh... uh. I think if there was, I feel like there's a lot of enemies where you run with the. It's just a cedar. That's the only one left. So. And the the thing is, remember the cataphract will resist all the fireworks damage right now. That's yeah. correct. Uh, if uh, you like, do you want me to go, or do you, you want like, Kevlar? I can again? deal with the. I can deal with the cataphract. True. <laughs> well, you first. can you can move through my space, right? Yep. Oh, no. The Cavalier just go for it. Oh, sorry. So I'm going to get right next to the Cataphract so I can get accuracy on the attack attack. Mm -hmm. And first I'm going to shoot with my shotgun. Is that a boost or a move? Move. You got it. Nope. Cavalier, remember, he's going to have resistance to your shotgun attacks at that range. That's correct. Mm. So it's better to Plus. attack from a bit far away. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, <laughs> remember, there's still, there's still a also, mine somewhere there. <laughs> could also just end the scene. <laughs> the big brand play. Or maybe... I'm, go I'm just going to shoot him. Sorry. Firework. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to shoot him and invade him. Mm -hmm. So first... Crit. Dealing 7, plus opcal. And opcal. 10 damage. And then, time for the invasion. Wait, where is my puppet system? Might as well click somebody else. Uh, probably yeah, yeah. Your... Oh. Yeah, hits and he moves uh, 8 spaces somewhere. That triggers Overwatch from you. Weapons. Oh, Deck Sweeper. That's a hit. Plus one accuracy. No. Yep. That is one from you, Junkyard. Oh, come on. Oh, Plus no. one accuracy in a me. No, it's. it's... It should be plus... Oh, no, wait, no, it is plus one accuracy. Yep. I helped. <laughs> yep, you sure did. And you have your normal movement left, Cavalier. 
I'm going to move here. Mm -hmm. And that's my turn. I forgot to end it. You got it. The cedar is gonna go. It's gonna put on a mine. It's going to shoot a grav grenade launcher behind you, Cavalier. Oh no, where could the mine be? Nobody knows. That's a hit. Deals uh, one damage. And then pushes you into mine. For an agility save. Eee. That is six reduced to four damage. Ending turn on the Cedar. Alright, I'll just go then. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Boost to here. Mm -hmm. So close! <laughs> Firework, you're up. True. <laughs> Firework can't do it, Firework is prone. <laughs> yeah, he's prone. Firework's up, but Firework is down. <laughs> um. Unlucky. <laughs> uh, um, I still have my. I may as well shoot things. I think you can. I mean, <laughs> do you do you want to tip your junkyard? What? Uh, where was the thing? Here, right? Starting movement here. No way. What was the thing? Sorry, I had technical issues. It's all good. Boost it to there, right? And then you moved up four. Or should be one further, actually. Like this. Yeah, but what you could do is uh, move two uh, to here. Put the scanner down through a blink mine. <laughs> Teleport up over and <laughs> finish your movement. Oh, that's true. You're right. <laughs> now you're yeah. thinking with portals. <laughs> <laughs> so if we're going for that, uh, that can be the end of the scene. Woo! All right, yeah. I get plenty grenades. I've got grenades for days. And uh, yeah, redouts are secured. Overcharge and roller, roller <laughs> charge. That's too good. Ro roller charge the cataract. Uh, yeah, roll for me. Uh, ooh, making it suspenseful. Uh, no, nah, it's dead. <laughs> roller charge a nerd to death on the way out. I didn't. I didn't lose the rector stress. All right. Good one, pilots. Uh, we cleared the chicken processing facility, and we got the temperature readouts, so everything can run smoothly from here on out. For your efforts, we will award you some license levels. Uh, cage. <sighs> Government name super string. You're going to six. And with that, Cage will need to take many showers to get the stench of grease off and many trips to the gym to work off that huge bucket of chicken. That was a huge bucket of chicken, jeez. Uh, oh, junkyard. Wait, it, uh... hmm? Junkyard, you were going to class level yeah. six. Yep. Cavalier, government name VAT. You are going to level 5, I think. Yep, 
That checks out. Yep. Nice. And for your I'm first really mission on, on Interpoint Station Firework. Oops. You'll be going to last level one. Hooray. Just playing more honestly. Alright. Thank you for playing everybody. And uh, Thank I will you very much for the game. See you around on Discord. Thank you very much. I'll see you in another mission. And yeah, take it easy, buddy. Have a good one. Have a good one. All right, Twitch chat. How are we doing? Oof, I'm really fucking hungry. I don't have any food left. Ugh, where I live. Um, yeah, that's it for me. <laughs> Ralph goes into finish the stream mode. It's true. Uh, next week, it's gotten pretty late. Um, next week. Daylight savings will kick in. Uh, so, for me at least. I know for the US population already has, so it's going to be interesting. Um, which is why... We'll see how it works out. Actually, not even next week. No, next week. Exactly. Sunday, 28th. Uh, I'm going to keep the schedule, though, I think. I don't think much is going to change. <laughs> I need to get some big bog, yeah. You get that big bog. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I have to go grab a snack, otherwise I'm dying. And I will see you around on the Discord in another mission, on another stream. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Goodbye. Take it easy.